Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. Today's video will be part three of our four part series on native mobile automation testing using XUI tests and the Swift language. In our previous videos, we went through how to add XUI tests to an existing Xcode project. Then we walked through how to create a page object model testing architecture using XUI tests. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to add accessibility identifiers to elements. This will make finding and performing actions on the element much, much easier. To achieve this, we're going to access the storyboard and find the button. Then we're going to set the accessibility identifier. Then we will update the page object to look for the accessibility identifier that we assigned. Then we will update the XUI test script with the page class object that uses the accessibility identifier. And then finally, we will run our XUI test. Before we get started, I want to remind you if you enjoy this style of content and are not subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And with that out of the way, let's get to the steps. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a empty test method that will use our accessibility identifier. So we can clearly identify that when we run our tests later. I'll just simply call it func test select one button accessibility identifier. So now if we go and look at our calculator page class, you can see that we are calling our page elements by a label, which is app.staticText. Now our label in these cases are just numbers. But what we want to do is we want to actually call the element by an accessibility identifier, which will allow us to be a lot more stable when we run our test. To do that, we go up to calculator, select main.storyboard, and you'll get this view and it'll show your application view. So what I wanna do here is I want to actually select the element and then in the right side here, I wanna find accessibility identifier. So I'll scroll down to accessibility section and then the identifier, I simply just enter an identifier that I wanna identify. So I'm gonna enter test. Once that's done, I've added an accessibility identifier to the one button. Now I can go back to my calculator page class and simply just query on that accessibility identifier. So I'm going to copy this function here and we're going to change some items to make it call our accessibility identifier instead of any of the defined page objects. So I'm going to change this name so it's clear to us. So I'll call it tap one by AI. And then we're going to update the log to make sure that we know that we're using our accessibility identifier. And then to actually call the, the one button by the element, we're going to actually use app.buttons and then we're going to pass in the accessibility identifier and then the action we want performed. So in my case, app.buttons test.tap. Now we can simply go back to our test and call that page object that uses the accessibility identifier. So we'll do calculator page dot tap one by AI. And now we are going to actually perform the action. So we'll save this and we'll run the test just to make sure it works. And there you have it. We have now made a element selection based off of the accessibility identifier that we set within the main.storyboard. And with that, part three of our four part series on XUI test is now complete. Today we walked through how to access the button in a storyboard view. Then we set the accessibility identifier within the storyboard, then updated the page object to look at the accessibility identifier, and then finally updated the XUI test script with the page object class that uses the accessibility identifier. 
Let me know if you like this style of video by hitting the like button down below. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel, but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.